Hey folks, my name is Jamie. I'm a yoga teacher and a mindset coach. In today's video, we're going to go over a very simple Qigong movement called Shake the Tree. This can be done standing up, it can be done for just a few moments, and it can really help you feel a lot better. So give it a whirl and enjoy. Have a special request from Amy this one is for you so if you've been to some of my classes before you might have experienced some different forms of shaking I know it's funky and weird but it actually can be fun you just have to allow yourself to have a little fun and it's great absolutely fabulous for nervous system regulation so let's meet on the mat and let's go over shake the tree all right, my friends, from here, let's find a stance that works for our body. Either the feet can be in line with the hips, a little bit wider or a little bit closer. This is all dependent on your body and how you would like to feel. Toes are pointed forward. Make sure your feet are nice and rooted into the earth here. A gentle bend in the knees. Roll those shoulders up and back. That tailbone is, down, is going down towards the floor. That core is engaged. And from here, the shake the tree is how I learned it was a part of Qigong movements. And it's very basic and simple and it has a really, it packs a punch. When you don't feel good or you're really stressed or even mad, angry, it packs a punch. It gets you back into the present moment. So from our stance here, there's a couple different variations. We can simply start to gently bounce from the legs, gently bounce from the knees here. And you can feel nice fluid motion here. And you can either leave the arms hanging down nice and long or the little added extra I like to put on, you can shake them up and down and all around. And we just wanna connect with our breath here while we're doing this. A lot of times this pose can be done for a matter of minutes, but there's a few different variations as well. We can shake our body like this, or if you'd like a little bit more, we can lift those heels. And it's gonna be a little bit more strength for your legs. Or if you really want to get into it, you can take a little jump. You can take a little jump, have the feet leave the earth for a second. But from here, we just, we're just shaking our body out. We're getting rid of the overthinking mind. We're getting rid of things that we felt five minutes ago. This is going to get us into the present moment right now. Option to close those eyes if you'd like. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, or in through the nose, out through the mouth. Yogi's choice. And really just keep with the motion. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We just don't want to feel any pain at any time. And another little added extra that I like to do is pretend like you have that problem that's bugging you in your hands. Grasp it. Throw it out to the side. Do a throwing motion out to the side. Give it to Mother Earth. She'll know what to do with it. Still connecting with our breath, still shaking. You can drop your hands at any time. Just a few more here. If you take my classes, we won't be doing this for a series of multiple minutes. It's usually a minute or two. Just really feel this space. I know it's funky and weird, but I tell you, it can really relieve a lot of tension. And I'm a firm believer we are only, as adults, we only allow ourselves to have so much fun. So just let go, allow yourself to have fun here. There's no right or wrong way. Let's do one more. And go ahead and release. Go ahead and stop here. Inhale those palms forward and just observe your body. Notice any sensations here. And release. So this is um, Shake the Tree, this is called. And this is really an intuitive pose. We just really want to move our body how it feels really nice for us and we just wanna get into it. It relieves a lot of tension, like I've said a few times before, and it can really change your mood for the day. 
Absolutely. Thanks, Amy, for the idea here. I hope this finds you well. And if you do come to my classes, you will see this pose quite often. <laughs> a lot of times it's an icebreaker for me. When we begin a class, we can just, I like to start in this way sometimes. And you should see the looks that I get sometimes. Some people are really like, what is she doing? But it's okay. Just allow yourself to shake and move and breathe and things will feel a little bit lighter. Thanks so much, guys.